Hey, what's up everybody? In this sneak peek, let's check out the all new Pasting Pixels feature inside of On One Photo Raw 2024. With Pasting Pixels, you can copy and paste images, graphics, or icons directly from your computer or even a web browser and fuse them directly into your photo edit. So let's jump into Photo Raw 2024 and let's take a look at this feature in action. So inside of On One Photo Raw 2024 here, let's take this car image and let's crop it a little bit, bring out some of the basic tones into it, and then we'll paste in some pixels of some logos that we can add onto the bottom just to bring in a little bit more interest and some graphics into the scene. So before I do any of the pasting of the pixels, let's just crop it a little bit to remove some of that excess on the foreground. And I'll also just bring out some of those midtones, and we'll bring in some contrast. Nothing too crazy, just bringing out those basic tones within the scene. So now let's go in and paste some pixels, um, specifically some logos of this car, this Plymouth Barracuda, and we can add those at the bottom of the scene. So when it comes to pasting pixels, you can paste pixels from your computer's finder or your desktop or wherever that image lives on your computer, but you can also paste it from web browsers as well. Let's just start with my desktop here. On my desktop, I have this Plymouth logo here. I'm just gonna select that. I'll hold down Command and C on my MacBook to copy it. You can also right click and copy. And I'll just head back into Photo Raw here and I'll paste that logo there. And I can move this around, I can resize it and I can treat it just like any other layer. And I can see that layer right up here in my layers pane with that Plymouth logo PNG file there. Let's just resize the layers a bit to give us a bit more room. And we're going to add in more layers there, so we definitely need a little bit more room here in our layers pane. And like I said earlier, you can also copy and paste from a web browser. So let's go into a web browser here. And I've navigated to a couple of different logos. This Barracuda logo here, and then this just sort of CUDA logo there that I think looks really sort of old school and really, really cool. So we're going to grab those two logos and put them into the scene. So to do that, same thing, I'm just going to copy that image there. We'll go back into Photo Raw, and I'll paste it. And because it's a layer, I can move it around, I can resize it, and I can also use blend modes to get rid of any unnecessary backgrounds. So let's just head up to our blend mode, and we'll choose Screen. With the Screen blend mode, it's going to get rid of that black background there, so we're just left with this nice white CUDA logo there. Let's just position it similar to the logo on the left. And I think that's looking pretty good. Let's just rename this layer here, CUDA. So we'll go back into my web browser here. I'm gonna grab this other logo. I'll do the same thing, just copy the image and I'll paste that image there. So with this image, what we need to do first is just get rid of that excess on the bottom that we don't need. So I'm going to use my line mask tool to do this. Just like that. So now all we're left with is this Barracuda logo. Well, what we need to do to sort of swap it and ensure that this logo is white is we're just going to go to the effects tab. I'm going to add a filter here. I'll add the curves filter and I'm just going to create a negative of this image here by swapping the whites and the blacks within the scene. So now I have my Barracuda logo in white. So let's do the same thing with our blend mode and we'll choose screen. We'll rename this one Barracuda logo there. And if we zoom out, oops, we have our three different logos sitting at the bottom. And all we had to do to bring them in was just copy and paste them. And so now let's say we need to modify anything within that base layer there, that Barracuda layer. We can open up this little arrow key here and we can see any of those different modifications that we've done to it. 
Let's say we want to add in just maybe a creative filter here. We'll just select that layer. We'll add a filter. And I'm just going to add the vignette filter. We'll use big softy here. And that will create a little bit of a darkness around these edges so that these logos really stand out within the scene and the viewers nice and focused in on that car there. Let's also hit K on the keyboard. We'll grab that car and we'll just give it a little bit of dynamic contrast. Let's increase the small there. And I'm digging it. So we've created this nice little graphic here with these three different logos at the bottom really easily by again, just copying and pasting. And from there I could go back and I could fine tune the position if I need to. I'm seeing that this CUDA logo here is looking a little bit too high. So we'll just pull that down there to place it a little bit closer to the middle of these other logos. So that's how to paste pixels into your scene using either your computer's finder or desktop or wherever those images live on your computer or hard drive. And you can also copy and paste pixels from a web browser. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next sneak peek.